All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and then finish the, the ref and this. So let's go into edit mode of this piece over here. And then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take one, two, three, four, and then press F. Or instead, let's take these four, and let's press F. And then let's take these two, and press F all the way to about there, should be good. And I'm gonna add one more through this side, okay? So now let's take one, two, three, four, and then press F. And then let's take these two and press F. So let's add in about four loop cuts of five. I think five should be good. Now, keep in mind the reason I'm using a lot of loop cuts here is because uh, I want everything to match as much as possible. So maybe using four is not gonna be enough. So I'm gonna have to use five of them to make it match as much as possible. So let me get onto the back view real quick. And I'm gonna add in five loop cuts in the middle here, okay? All right, I'm gonna press Alt and S and then shrink this out like this until the ones on the uh, outer areas, that's this one and this one right here, are uh, on the blueprint line. So let me just deselect this and then press Alt and S and then shrink it out some more. I wanna deselect this and deselect this and I wanna press Alt and S again and then shrink it out to about there. Now let me take this, I'm gonna shrink this out a bit more, just like that. All right, so I think that is looking good. Now let me get over here and then uh, I'm gonna take these two here and I'm gonna press F in between them. And I'm gonna press Control and R and add one vertex in here. And let me just press G and then move this to about here. And let me get onto the top view, make sure it is properly aligned in a straight line. And I wanna take these four and press F. And let me take these two and press F once. I wanna take these two as well, press F. And then uh, let me put about, uh, let me put about three in the middle here, okay? And I'm just gonna keep it there like that. Or maybe, let's shrink it in a bit, okay? Because you can see it's not following the blueprint line as much. So I'm just moving in the X axis a bit like this. And I'm gonna deselect the outer ones and then move this in some more. All right. So I'm gonna take one, two, three, four, and press F. And I'm gonna take these two. Oh, first off, let's take these two and press F. And let me add in three more in here. So I'm gonna take these four and press F. Take these two and press F all the way to that side we can uh, go ahead and take these two and press F in between them. Okay, so let me just get onto the side. Let me press Control and R through here. Add in only one, I'm gonna move this over here. And let me just pull it out in the x-axis a bit. Let me go to the top view so I can see this much better. Okay, so I think we have to pull it in a bit. All right, before we did, we do anything else, let me take these three and press F. And let me take these two and press F all the way to there. And I wanna take these two and press F twice. All right, I'm gonna take this and then pull it out a bit like that. And that should be good. Let me just pull it out a bit more. I think that should be good. Let me just take the whole thing and press it and end to recalculate the normals. All right, looking good. Just pull this out a bit. Okay, so I don't think that's bad. That's not bad at all. All right, so let me just hide this vertex here. Let me press Ctrl and R through here, and then add one in here, press E and then F. Align it with the one on the right, and let's bring it as close as we can like that. All right, now I'm gonna take these two and press F. Well, let me press Alt and H to bring everything back. And I'm gonna take this and this and press J to join it. And I'm gonna knife this again. I'm gonna knife this again from here, all the way to about this side. All right, and now I'm gonna take these four vertices here and press F just to fill in that area very nicely. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to the side view over here. So let's get onto the side view. And I'm gonna walk in this area. So I'm gonna press E and then extrude this to about here. And I'm gonna extrude it again all the way to about this side right here. Let me just press G and then move it to the middle of the blueprint line. And let me take these two and press F. All right, so we're gonna add in about, uh, I think 10 vertices. So let's add in 10 vertices in the middle here. And then let's align them onto the blueprint line. All right, so now let's go ahead and then apply loop tool space to this. So loop tools and then space to even out the space very nicely. And I want to take these four and press F. And I want to take these two and press F all the way to the other side. All right, now we can go ahead and make sure they are uh, flat with the surface on and the each of these vertices are flat with the one on the left hand side. So I'm going to take these two, making sure this is the active element. And I'm going to press S and then X and type in zero just to make sure it's flat. And I wanna take this one first and take this one second. And I'm just gonna press Shift and R to repeat the command. So that is gonna shrink them out in the same axis, that is in the same location of the X axis with the one above it. As you can see, it's moving each of those vertex below it. 
onto the same point in the x-axis with the one above it. Alright, now let me just get to the back view. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into edit mode. And let me just take this, okay? So I'm going to slide it up a bit because I think it went way too low. And I'm going to extrude this. First of all, let me get to this side. Alright, I'm going to take all of this. Let me just pull it up in the z-axis. Or better yet, what we can do is we can take that whole thing and then add it to that group we created here. So if I select the whole thing, you can see it's not added to them. So I'm just going to select those and then assign them as well. Just like that. Alright, so let's apply that shrink wrap one more time. That is uh, excluding these ones. These ones are not part of them. So uh, let's remove those, including, let me hide this. And let me remove that and then hide it. Remove this, hide it. And let me take this whole thing and then remove them. All right. So now let's select again and make sure those aren't selected amongst them. And it's not. All right, so that's good. So let's go ahead and apply the shrink wrap one more time. So uh, it's group 001. Uh, what was the name of the shrink wrap again? Let me just take a look at the name. It's called DOS 005. So we're just going to assign DOS 005 to this. So DOS 005 and then the group is this one right here. So let's enable it like that. And I'm pretty sure it is shrink wrapping it. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. So what we're going to go ahead and do is to just apply that shrink wrap. Just to apply it like that. Just to make sure they are on the same surface. Just like that. All right, now let me take this vertex and let me get onto the back view. <clears throat> or better yet, what we can do is let's finish this whole area first. All right. So let me go ahead and enable the subdivision surface like that. All right, very nice. So I'm just going to click on object and then shade this as smooth like that. And now we can go ahead and start adding in the supporting edge loops. So let me just get over here. I'm going to press Ctrl and R2 here and I'm going to press E. And align it with the one on the right hand side and pull it as close as we can just like that. I think that should be good. Yeah. Alright, so that goes all the way through, but we don't want that to happen. So what we can do is we're just going to take this and then merge it at this last one right here by pressing M and then choosing at last. And then we can dissolve the rest over here. Alright, very nice. Now I want to press Ctrl and R3 here as well. Press E and then F. Align it with the side and pull it as close as we can just like this. And then what we can do with this side is... uh. Let me just knife it, okay? So we're just going to, going to press K and then knife it all the way to about here, like this. And I'm going to knife it again to about there, like this. And I'm finally going to knife it to that vertex over there. And I'm going to press space to confirm it, like that. All right, I'm going to take this and then that and then merge it at the last, like that. All right, very nice. So everything is coming out really great. Now I want to get to this side. Let me just press Ctrl and R2 here. Press E and then F and then align it with the one with the top at the top and then pull it as close as we can like that and I'm going to do the same thing here press E and then pull it as close as we can like that and let's get over to this side okay so I'm just going to hide this vertex press Ctrl and R3 here press E I want to press alternate to bring everything back so I'm just going to pull this back a bit more press E and then pull it to be in alignment with the vertex above it like that and now let's take both of those and merge it at the last whichever one you want to merge it to all right so everything is coming out really great Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add in supporting edge loops to this area right here, which we already have one. Uh, I'm not sure if that is enough, but maybe I would want to add one more because this is not close enough. Let me just slide it down a bit to about there. I think that should be good. All right, now I'm going to add one more in here. Let me just pull it as close as we can, just like that. I think that should be good. And let me get over here and see how that area looks. Okay, not bad, not bad. Alright, so first of all, what I want to do is let's let's remove those edge again. Okay, so let me just take these two and merge it at the center. And I'm going to take these two and merge it at the center as well. Just so we have a triangle over here. And I'm going to take this and then slide it back just to give it some kind of a quad in that area like that. Alright, now I'm going to press the control and R again and then pull it as close as we can. Like this. I'm not sure that's close enough. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, that's close enough. And I'm going to deselect all of the ones above. And then leave the ones below and then dissolve those edges. Alright, very nice. Now let me just take this and then pull it a bit more close. Like this. And I think I'm going to merge this with this. If that doesn't cause any issues. Uh, not really. I don't think it causes much issues. Alright, so as you can see everything is coming out great. But let's see how well we can fit. I mean, fix this area right here. Uh, so let me try tr making a triangle right here instead. Now let's see what that also looks like. 
All right, that kind of controls it a bit. So I think I might go with that. I might actually go with that. It doesn't look bad. All right, now let me just take this and then this right here, and I'm gonna press J to join them. I'm not sure if that is a good idea. You know, let's re-dissolve those edges, okay? So I think we should try merging it this one and see what that looks like. Uh, that's also not looking so great. Um, at this point, uh, maybe let's just take this to impress J, all right? And then uh, we can just try and then fix that area a bit. Let me try pulling it in the x axis, which uh, doesn't look too great. Pull it in the z axis a bit. All right, not bad. We'll keep it as it is for now. We'll try and fix it later. All right, so before we proceed, let's fix a few things first, okay? So uh, I think I might not have mentioned this, but the blueprint were a bit uh, over here in the blueprint. I think I may have moved this blueprint line a bit too much. So I'm going to fix that by taking this vertex here, okay? So let's take make sure this whole edge is selected with this being the active element. And then let's get onto the side, okay? So I'm, I'm just going to press S and then X. And scale this to about some point here. I think that should be good. I'm just going to press S and then Y, and then scale this back to about here, like that. Alright, so we're pretty much going to do the same thing with the one next to it. So let's take all of that edge, and uh, let me just take those two as well, and make sure this is the active element, alright? And I'm just going to press S and then X, sorry, S and then X, and I'm just going to scale this just like that. I think that should be good. I'm going to press S and then Y, and scale this out to about here, alright? So that should be good, except we might have a bit of some problems here, because now this area right here is going to be very curvy. Let's see if that is going to cause some issues. If it will, then we're just going to have to fix it, but I doubt it will. So let me just re-enable the subdivision surface, and then let me try adding in a supporting edge loop just to see what that area looks like. All right, doesn't look like it gave us any problems. Nope, doesn't look like it gave us any problems. So we can just keep it that way, but if you still want to be sure that you fix it. What you can do is, let me just change this right back. What you can do is, let's remove that extra edge. What you can do is to take each of these and then apply loop tools to them. Just make sure the space is as even, but I don't think that is going to be a great idea either. So you know what, let's just leave it like that. It's not going to cause any issues. Just shifting it that bit, I don't think that's going to cause any problems. So just make sure uh, you shift it off the blueprint line just a bit, because I think that was a mistake I made and I forgot to tell you guys to do that. Yeah, so uh, that should be good. Now we can proceed. Uh, what we can do next is uh, let me just disable the subdivision surface real quick. And then I'm just going to press Ctrl and R through here. Let me press Ctrl and R through here. Add in a loop card and press E and then align it with this side and pull it as close as we can, like this. Yeah, let me just add in a, an extra one over here. Press E and pull it as close as we can, like that. And then use the knife tool and then knife it from here all the way to about somewhere here. And now let me just take these two and press F, or just once, just press F once, like that. And I'm going to use the knife tool again and then knife it from here, all the way to here, and then to here, and then to back there, like that. And I'm going to take these two and press F twice, just like that. Alright, I'm going to take this and then this, and then merge it at the last, like that. Merge it at the last. Do I have the wrong one selected? Okay. If you have, in case you have double vertices, just make sure you merge them together. And now we can take these two and then merge it at the last like that. Let me just slide this in a bit. I'm going to take this and then this and then merge it at the last and then dissolve the one on the inside like that. All right, now let's go over to the top view. And I think everything is looking great so far. All right, now let's go over to the, uh, the objects data tab and let's make sure the ones that we need are assigned to this group over here, which they are. So we're going to take this and then remove this out of it. Let's reselect it, make sure those are the right ones and I think they are All right, I think we have to deselect these ones as well so remove these ones as well and then let's select and then see okay so we're gonna remove this extra edge over here as well so remove and then let's select again and I think that's everything all right very nice all right so what we can do now is to go over to the top view and then I'm gonna take these three vertices here and I'm just gonna press G and move it in the x-axis until it falls on the blueprint line like that, just like that, that should be good. And now let me just get to the top view, and I'm gonna take this and then extrude it all the way back to about here. 
And now let me get to the back view and then align it with the blueprint line over here as well, like this. I'm just moving in the x-axis a bit, like that. And then let me just get to the top view and I want to take these two. Or first off, before we actually do that, let me take all of this edge over here. So all of that edge, and I'm going to get to the back view. And let me extrude it in the Z axis, just like that. I think that should be good. Let me just bring it down a bit more. Uh, let's compare it to the one on top of it. All right, so I'm just going to move it in the X axis to about here, like this. So let me pull it back a bit more to about there. Yeah, I think that should be good. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two and press F. And let's zoom into that area and see what we have. All right, not bad. Now let me just take... Let me take one, two, three, four, and press F. And I want to take these two. Oh, first off, what we can do is let me let me actually take these ones as well. Okay. Come on. Yeah, those two vertices. I want to extrude them in the Z axis as well. And let me get onto the back so we can align it with the ones on the, on top of it. So we can pull it out a bit like that. And then take these two and press F once. And then let's see what we can do with this area. All right, now let me just take this two and then press F once. All right, let me take this and then this and then press J to form a triangle over there. So let me just take these faces and then delete those faces very nicely. All right, now I'm gonna take these two and then press F in the middle there. Okay, let's get on over to this side, okay? I'm gonna press Ctrl and R2 here to add in an extra vertex and let me take this and slide it out a bit like that. Now I'm gonna take this, let me press Ctrl and R2 here and then uh, through here, I think. And now let me take these two, press F, and then these two, and I'm going to press F. Alright, so let me just take those three vertices now. And then let me get onto the back view. And I'm going to press S and then Z, scale it down, and then S and then X, and then scale it all the way to about that side. And I think that should be looking good. Yep, let me get onto the top view again. So S and then X. Now let me take this, pull it in the X axis a bit. Alright, now I'm going to take these three, press F. Take these two, press F. All these four, and press F. And let me take these two, press F once. And I'm going to add one more in here just for that edge on top of it. And let me take these two and then press F twice. All right, not bad. Let's take the whole thing, press Shift and N to recalculate the normals. And let's make sure we shade the object smooth just to fix that area much better. All right, let me re-enable the subdivision surface so we can see what this looks like. Okay, not bad. It's looking good. All right, now what I'm going to do is to press Ctrl and R3 here to add in that extra vertex here, I mean the edge to support it, and let me pull it as close as we can to about here. And uh, what we can do here now, I'm going to knife this, okay, from here all the way to here, and I'm going to press E to make another knife. I want to knife it from here all the way to there, and let me just press space to confirm it, just to sharpen that area a bit more. All right, now we can go ahead and do this area as well. So let me just get onto the back view. Now let me go into edit mode. Take this one, or first of all, let me... All right, so what we can do first is let's let's shrink wrap all these onto the surface again just to be sure of it. So let me just make sure I have the right one selected. Let me deselect the ones on the back here. So all of these ones, we're going to remove from them so that we only have these ones right here. Yeah. And I'm going to add in that, uh, I'm going to add in a shrink wrap modifier one more time. And then the target is going to be the doors 005 and then the uh, the group is going to be that vertex group. All right, so now we can go ahead and then apply it again. So, uh, where is it? Yeah, we're just going to apply it one more time, just like that. All right, so for some reason, uh, I, when I'm recording the videos, at some point I have to cut it and then uh, re-record. So when that happens, uh, sometimes, I mean, at this time when I opened it, it actually opened in Blender 2.83 instead of Blender 2.9. So uh, applying the uh, modifier was quite... Uh, the old-fashioned way, but in the 2.9, in the 2.9 is quite different. But once I finish this, I'm gonna recontinue the whole thing in Blender 2.9. Okay, so just bear with me on this one. All right. So what we're gonna do now is to take this vertex, get onto the back view, and I'm gonna go into edit mode. And let me extrude this all the way to about here. Or maybe what we can do is just delete that vertex we just extruded, and let's take this whole thing instead. Let's get onto the back and extrude this in the z-axis all the way to about there. Let me pull it up in the z-axis a bit more, like that. And now I'm going to take 1, 2, and press F. And let me take that whole edge again. Let me get onto the side. And then what we can do is to pull it out in the y-axis, like this. And let me just take this and then slide it along the edge over there, just to make sure it's on the blueprint line a bit more, just like that. 
and I'm going to do the same thing with this as well. All right, very nice. Now let me just take this, pull it onto the blueprint line, each and every single one of them. Okay, so that should be looking good. All right, now let me just press Ctrl and R3 here, add one more vertex in here, and let me press Ctrl and R3 here as well. Press E, align it with the one on top, pull it as close as we can like that, and I want to take these two and press F. I want to press Ctrl and R3 here, pull that very close to this area. And let me take this two and press F twice. Take this two and press F twice. All right, not bad. Now we can press Ctrl and R3 here, press E and an F, align it with the one over there, and pull it as close as we can, like that. All right, everything is coming out really nicely. Now let's go on to the back view here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, extrude it down in the Z axis to about here, like this. And then I'm going to extrude it a bit more. I mean, extrude it one more time all the way to about, let's extrude it to here, like this. And let me get onto the back view and then align it with the blueprint line, like this. Take this one as well, align it with the blueprint line, like that. Now, let me take this, go back in here, and uh, let me take, let me take these two, all right? And now let me just extrude it in the x axis, like this. Get onto the side view. And pull it in the y axis. Well, let me just press G and move this out to about here. Let me just take this, pull it out some more to about there, like that. And let me get onto the back view. And let me take this and this and press F to join it. I'm just pull it in the x axis a bit. All right, now I'm gonna press Ctrl and R2 here and then press G and move that here. Let me just press Ctrl and R2 here. Let me bring it all the way close to this area, move it to around here, and let me just take this and then move it down to here. All right, so now what we're going to do is to get onto the side view and make sure they are all aligned with the blueprint line. All right, very nice. Now we can go ahead and then start filling that area. Uh, I'm going to take one, two, three, four, and press F. Take these two, or these three, and press F. And I'm going to take these two and press F once. And uh, let me take a look at what it looks like over here. All right, let me just get onto the side view. And let me add in about three loop cuts in here, like this. And now let me take these two vertices and then press F about three times. Let me just slide this back here, slide this forward, and then take this and slide it all the way here. And let me press Ctrl and R3 here, move this very close to here. Take these two, press F twice, just to fill in that area. And, uh, okay, I think I'm going to have to work with this area a bit more. I think it's pulling out a bit... I'm not so sure. Let me just get onto the side view. And let me take this, try pulling it out in the x-axis. Uh, or not. Let's keep it there. And let me take these, pull this in the x-axis to about here. Take this, pull it in the, I mean in the y-axis to about there. And let's take what that, let's take a look at what that looks like. Not bad. Let me get onto the side view. And I'm going to take this, pull it in some more. Take that and pull it in some more like this okay looking good not bad all right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to press ctrl and r through here like this and then let me get onto the side view and let me make sure this is the active element all right let me go into wireframe and i'm going to press s and then y and then scale this in to about here like that all right very nice uh now we're going to press ctrl and r through here to add in one more first off let's hide this one I want to press Ctrl and R3 here to add in one more. Press Alt and H to bring everything back. And let me just take these two and press J to join them. Um, I kind of feel like we have to pull this area in a bit more. So let me take these three, press S and then Y and scale it in a bit more. Let me disable the subdivision surface so we can do this much better. All right. So let me just, oh, maybe we should just keep it there. I mean, it's not that bad. Let me re-enable the subdivision surface just to see what we got. Okay. So let me press Ctrl and R3 here to add in a loop cut, press E and an F. And then what we're going to do is, we're going to make it a triangle over here. So let me just take this and then this, merge it at the last like that. And let's dissolve the rest of the edges that goes all the way through. All right, very nice. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. Press E, align it with the one on top. Pull it as close as we can, like that. All right, I'm, I'm going to take this and then merge it to this one. And let's just merge it at last, just like that. All right, not bad. Not bad. Uh, what can we do with this area? Let me take these two and press J. And then take these four and press F. Alright, I think that looks much better. Yep. 
All right, very nice. Now let's add in a supporting edge loop over here. Press E and align it with the one on the inside and pull it as close as we can like that. And then we can just merge it with this one over here. Merge it at the last and then dissolve the one below. Okay, there's another one below. We can just dissolve those two just like that. All right, very nice. Okay, so let's press Ctrl and R2 here to add in a supporting edge loop pretty close to that area like that. And uh, let me reshade this smooth just to make sure there's no flat surfaces. And then uh, we already have a supporting edge loop here, so that's pretty good. And I don't think we have one here, so we have to add one more in here. So I'm just going to knife it from here all the way to there and all the way to about back there. Or maybe let me bring it to about this point and then let's confirm that first and let's get over here again I want to knife it again from here all the way to the vertex in the middle there and press enter to confirm it all right very nice okay so let's go around and add in those supporting edge loops now let's get over here and add one more in here press E and then align it with the one on the left and pull it as close as we can like that and let's add one over in here as well press E align it with that area like that and then let me just hide this Add one in here as well, press E, align it with that area, press alternate to bring everything back. Now we can take these two and press J. Okay, let's not merge them, not, don't merge them together because that will cause some issues. So just press J to join them, and then let's get over here. Add a supporting edge loop in here as well, pretty close like that. And we're going to add one in here as well, press E and then F, pull it close like that. I'm going to add one in here as well, E, pull it close like that. And one more in here, pull it close like that. All right, so that is to ensure that the solidify modifier actually works really great. All right, so uh, that is what the surface looks like. It's not bad at all. Let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like. Reflective, and that's looking great. That's looking really great. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's change the mod cap again to this one. Uh, I think I have a bit of an issue here. I don't know what's going on. But it's kind of sharp. I don't know why it's sharp. Okay, I think we haven't enabled the uh, subdivision surface. That's why. All right, there we go. Okay. Very nice. Let me just take these edges here. All right. And let's try uh, bulging them out a bit, including these ones. So I'm just going to press alternate S and then bulge it out just a bit like that. Not too much. All right, nice. I don't know what we can do with this area right here. Okay, so just slide it in a bit just to kind of give it, just to make it a bit, just to bend it a bit like that. All right, nice. So now let's go ahead and add in the solidify modifier, which uh, I'm not going to do on screen because uh, I'm pretty sure you guys already know how to do that. So, yeah, let's just add it in and see what this looks like. All right, so everything is looking really great. Everything came out great. So only rim, high quality, even thickness. And there we go. So uh, I'm sure you guys know how to add in the uh, the solidify modifier. I'm just going to leave you with that to do that on your own. But go ahead and then take a look at the ref and, uh, and uh, fix some issues you think you might have uh, using any of the methods that I've taught you to do so. I don't think that should be too difficult, but you can still get away with this. It's not too bad actually looks really really good but if it were up to me I would, I would want to fix it some more which I'm gonna do off camera but if you think you can do it on your own as well I would urge that you do that as well but yeah you can also keep this it's not bad so this is why I'm gonna end this video and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video